It seems that OnePlus is about to launch an affordable smartphone that still runs on a Qualcomm processor that supports 5G really soon. And if you think that the 65W charger on the Find X2 series is fast, wait till you see their upcoming charger that pushes 125W output. All of this and more on today's episode Ichimi, so remember to stay tuned. Ever since the introduction of book fast charging on the Oppo Find 7, Oppo has been pushing the development of fast charging over the years. The current Superbook 2.0 tech that's found on the Find X2 series pushes 65W output and they are soon introducing an even fast charging technology that claims to push an insane 125W output. According to Oppo's teaser on Weibo, the new 125W fast charging technology will be unveiled on the 15th of July 2020 at 3pm. There's very little info about it at the moment but we reckon that it could just be a technological showcase. It will probably take some time before it's made it's available on a commercial phone. Apart from Oppo, it appears that its sub-brand, Realme is introducing something similar. According to Isan Agarwal, he was tipped that Realme is announcing a new fast charging technology this month that could be called Ultra Dart. He added that it could charge a 4000mAh battery to 33% in just 3 minutes which is crazy quick. If you're planning to travel around Malaysia, AirAsia is now offering special promo for hotel rooms in collaboration with Omon Group. With this offer, you can get 10 nights of hotel stay for as low as 499 ringgit. Similar to the Unlimited Pass, you can enjoy this promo by purchasing the deal from the AirAsia Deals page. At the moment, there are 4 hotel offers available. Domestic Frequent Traveller with 10 nights stay for 499 ringgit, the Chow Kit Den with 5 nights stay for 699 ringgit, the Chow Kit Suite with 5 nights stay at 799 ringgit, and Tune KLIA2 Frequent Flyer with 5 nights stay at 899 ringgit. For the Domestic Frequent Traveller offer at 499 ringgit, you can redeem 10 nights stays at Momo's Kuala Lumpur or at any Tune hotels within Malaysia. According to the terms and conditions, the list of applicable Tune hotels includes Georgetown, Penang. Wan Borneo Kota Kinabalu, KLIA Aeropolis, Danga Bay Johor, Waterfront Kuching, Johor Baru City Centre, Kuala Lumpur PWTC and Kulim. The hotel deals are available until the 30th of September 2020 and you can redeem the stays until the 30th of June 2021. OnePlus will be unveiling its new Nord series next week that is expected to be priced under USD 500 ringgit. From what we have known so far, the Nord will be running on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G processor. It appears that OnePlus might introduce a cheaper variant that still runs on a Qualcomm processor with 5G. A new OnePlus was spotted on Geekbench with the model number BE2028 and it is different from the AC2003 that was listed earlier. It is an 8-core unit clock at 1.71GHz and it appears to come with 6GB of RAM. At the moment, it is speculated to run on a Snapdragon 690 5G which is the first 5G Snapdragon chipset in Qualcomm 600 series. Fitbit launched the Charge 4 earlier this year and it offers built-in GPS, support for Spotify and some new features. Now, a new software update for the Charge 4 has been released with improvements being made to the GPS features, alarms and others. One of the most interesting of these features is Smart Wake which prevents the fitness tracker from waking up users who are in deep sleep. Instead, the Fitbit Charge 4 will try to find the optimal time to wake you up. The update will also bring improved GPS functionality. Dynamic GPS will basically allow your Fitbit Charge 4 to utilize the GPS sensors on your phone but only if it's near enough. Dynamic GPS will basically allow your Fitbit Charge 4 to utilize the GPS sensors on your phone but only if it's near enough. Thank you guys so much for watching, remember to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you can be updated whenever we post a brand new video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!